Or wait till he says, oh, it's reliable. Reliable. All right, we'll get started here in just a minute. I've got 429, so when it hits 430, we'll get started. Fine. Let's do that. All right, I've got 4.30. Good afternoon, evening. Hope you all had a great Wednesday here in Keller ISD. We're coming to you live from the Genius Headquarters at KCAL. Uh, my name is Aaron Rice. I'm the Director of Educational Technology here in Keller. Uh, hi, my name is Nick Del Morel. I'm a, I'm a senior at Keller High. Go Indians. <laughs> um, if To be sure, make sure that you uh, add some comments in the chat so we can get a record of your attendance. And at 5 o'clock, we'll post a link to get the EQ, EQ credit so that you'll get that credit in at Jafora. We have Sara Smith and Jenna Singletary from Keller High School monitoring the chat. Um, so they'll be able to answer some questions as well as pass it on to us if we need to show something through here um, and go from there. So we're gonna get started out with uh, just uh, basically getting logged into to Google Drive. Um, so let me share my screen here. So to get logged into Google Drive, there's a couple of different options. If you go to google.com, make sure and Click sign in in the top right. You'll sign in with your Keller ISD account. Helps if you remember your password. So then once you get signed in, you can click the Waffle, or the application launcher, and click on Drive. This will take you to all the, the Drive options that you have, and we'll start talking through all those fun options, and hopefully you'll learn something. All right, then wait for it to go. Sweet, okay. So starting off on all these fun options we got in here, we're gonna go ahead and start with um, a folder. So you can see we got a load of folders and I was all through here. So if you wanna make your own, you can always go to this plus new button. This plus new is how you do most of your things in Google Drive. I have, and you have that plus folders button right there. You'd click on that. You'd call that whatever you want, like test folder for us here. All right. And then you just hit, hit enter or hit create. And there it is. As well, if you wanna upload one that you already have on your computer, you would go to that plus new button one more time. You would go down here to this folder upload button, click on that. All right, give it a second. There we go. All right, and then you could go and select a folder from here. So then you'd hit the upload button and it uploaded it for you. Anyway, so let's see. Hey, adding files and tells as well, Google Drive is mainly a file holding service. It's kind of like a big flash drive on the internet if you want to think of it that way. So oh, what you can do if you wanted to add in files is once again, go up to this plus new button, you click on it, and you can say file upload, and that's how you upload individual files. So that's stuff like pictures and hers, Word documents, slideshows, anything you really need. Anyway, so. Um, there is a way to upload your files um, as a Google, Google Excel workbook or a Word document. Um, it will, let's see, this one. So this one is currently a Word document, so it was uploaded but not automatically converted. If I want to convert this to a Google Doc, I can say open with Google Docs, and it will convert it, basically make a copy um, of this file in my Google Drive, and it'd be a Google Doc instead of a Word document. There is a setting. Um, to automatically convert those when you upload. So that's found in the gear icon up in the top right. Then you click settings, and you can check this box that says convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. So that'll change your docs or your Word documents to docs, your Excel documents to sheets, and then your PowerPoint slides, slideshows to uh, Google Slides. So that way you don't have to go through the extra step of, of clicking the uh, Google Docs or Sheets icon. All righty, so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and cover is we're gonna talk about 
how it's sharing and how that works. I know this makes a couple people antsy just because you don't want people seeing all your stuff, right? Well, I'll, so we're going to show you, say, if we take this document here. And if we wanted to share this with any specific person, we're not going to share it with a big group. We're just going to share it with one person. We would go up here. We'd click on this icon. And we would say share. So you'd click that share button. It'd take just a second. So you can either enter the, the person's email or name down here. If you've, if you've shared something with them before, their name's going to pop up first. First, so oh, that's how you do that. You'd also type in, like I said, their email works too. Or as well, if you wanted to share it with a big group of people, say like, like if you wanted to send out this one document to a bunch of people, you can use this link sharing. So what link sharing is, is you just take a copy of this link. You would go, you'd put it in an email or however you want to send it to somebody. And, and then they can do whatever they want, like whatever you set this to with the document. So like right now, whoever gets this link can edit this document. Or you can say they can and comment on it, or they can just look at it. It's really up to you. So anyway, that is sharing for you in a nutshell. And so you can see that this document has been shared with people. You can see that it's shared currently with these and one other. So if we want to see exactly who all it was shared with, we can look at, um, click on kind of the advanced and kind of find out who it's shared with and find out who the owner of this specific document is. And so here you kind of make some more, some more changes. If you want a specific people just to have uh, view rights, so you can change um, they can have comment rights, edit rights, or view, and then they'll get an email, email notification um, once you type in their email address, and you can even add, say, you know, this is the document that we talked about earlier today along those lines, and send a copy to yourself if need be. Just want to check in with our moderators, Sara and Jenna. How's it going on the chat out there? Hi. <laughs> hey guys, can y'all hear us? Yes, ma'am. Yes, indeed. Hi. We're doing great. Hi. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So next up, we'll talk about starring. So just like in in Gmail. Um, Google Drive has the ability to have some labels. So that way, if you have a document that you're accessing a whole lot, instead of having to come through and search for which one it is by alphabetical order, um, then you can just star that document. So if I wanted to star this practice one, I can click it and then click my three dots up here and say add a star. So that way it's going to show up over here in the starred label. So now if I can click on that, I can easily find my, my practice document. Um, we just kind of talk through some of these, these icons. I know since we're... Uh, kind of go through what some of these mean. If I select a, a, an item in my Google Drive, I get these options up here. So this is going to be my, my shareable link button. This is going to be my share with specific people. This is going to be the preview. Instead of opening it totally, I can preview it. And then this is going to the trash can, obviously is going to be remove it, put it in the trash and delete it out. There are some other options under the, the three dots. Some people call it a snowman. Some people call it ice cream cone. You know, we, lo we love talking about food around here, so we'll go with the ice cream cone for sure. Um, we can open with Google Drawings. We can move that to a different um, folder. We can add that as a star. We can rename it, view the details and kind of the history, make a copy or even download it to our computer. All right. Well, uh, as well, some people <coughs> might be wondering, and hey, theirs looks a little bit different than this one does. And that might be because y'all are in what's called grid view. So if you go up here, you see this little window pane looking thing. That is how you switch it over to grid view. So first previously it was in list view, now it's in grid view. So this might be what more y'all are looking at. It'll give you just like a little preview of what's in the document. And as well as, as it does the same thing essentially, but it's just a different way of looking at it. And so if you want to toggle between the two, you just go up here to this little icon here. It kind of looks like a stack of books. You click on that, and you click on that. There <laughs> we go. All right, and it would switch it back and forth between the two. All right. Yes, indeed. Um, one of the other things up in settings uh, that I know that uh, Google has, has done an update, and one of the things that they show is the 
um, suggestions. So instead of having to store items, they also have relevant files handy called suggestions um, and quick access. So you can turn that on. You probably, I think it's on by default. So you, you can access your settings and turn it off. So anything that you edit recently or that you've opened recently will show up in quick access instead of, instead of you having to star it or having to scroll through and find out what you need. Um, I personally don't like that on there because it kind of clutters my, my screen. I'd rather just search for it or where I saved it or if I wanted to start it. So an easy way to turn that off is clicking the gear icon for settings and then unchecking the box next to, next to sessions or suggestions. So, all righty then. Anyway, so moving on, we've also got him. All right, let's see. I'm going to go to... What do you want to do? Well, that's what I was going to ask you. You think we should just move on to file stream? Um, yeah, we can talk about um, adding or or adding versus moving. So when you're shared with me, if somebody that's shares right. a shares a document with you, um, you can see that in your shared with me um, label for over here on the far left. So I can see that this document is owned by Christy Harold. Um, so I can I can pull it up. I can look at it because I have rights to see it. If I want to be able to see that in my drive, when I open it, I have a drive icon button here to add it to my drive. That is just gonna put basically a link in my drive so that I don't have to go to the share with me. I can see it in my drive instead of moving it. There is, let's see if I have the rights to move it. So I don't have the rights to move it, but sometimes whenever you're giving, given the certain rights, you can move. Um, and so that would take it out of the folder that Christy had it saved in and put it in my folder. And so if Christy goes looking at a folder that she saved it in, she wouldn't be able to find it. It would be somewhere else. She would still have access to it. It just wouldn't be in that same folder. So I know that, I know that can be kind of confusing. Um, we're still kind of learning on it and hopefully we'll get some more information and put it out on our on our site when, when we get that info. Hey guys. Yep. Yes, this is Sara over here um, moderating. Just another tip. Um, I know Google experts many times say just a, just a little tip um, with the shared with me section to just not really worry about organizing that it becomes very, very messy and uh, just a huge long list of things that a organization is sharing with you. So just a tip to not try to um, delete and, and, and do a lot there you start with what you just suggested, Aaron, which is adding to your drive and organizing there if you have access. So I hope that helps. Absolutely. Thank you, Sarah. Um, one of the other things that has, has come up as in questions is being able to, to save straight from their computer into to Google Drive instead of having to open up and do the file upload like Nick showed previously. One of the ways that, that we're recommending is the drive file stream. Um, so you can access that by clicking the gear icon and then the get drive file stream for Windows or Mac. It, it's actually for both. I'm on a Windows computer, so it shows that now. It takes me out to another computer and then or another website, and then I would actually download for Windows and um, install it on my computer. I would sign in, and then I'd be able to see it in my list um, for um, options of when I'm saving. So it would come up as a G drive and called the file stream for for Google. So that's one way to be able to save straight from Excel, straight from Word, and it'd be saved up into to your Google Drive. So let me, let me get, open that up and just kind of show you what that looks like. So there's an icon down here in your system tray next to your, your, your clock. Um, so I can see my folders here. Um, and then if I access it from um, a quick launch, I have the Google files, Google Drive file stream. So I can any, any, see anything in my drive or my team drive to be able to save straight from there from my, my Word or my, my Excel or PowerPoint and being able to open it straight from here instead of having to go up to the web and go back and forth. So it's a, a kind of a time saver as well as uh, makes you more efficient on your computer. All right. So you're gonna move on to, to team drives, Nick? Yes, indeed. Okay, so earlier Aaron was talking about team drives, which to explain what team drives are, are, I showed you earlier how to share certain files. If you want to share one file or a folder or something like that. Team drives is for if you want to share a lot of files. So this is, is an entire drive. 
I have full disclosure and finance here. All right, so this is an entire drive that's shared between um, in a different um, people. So you can have, like this one has over a thousand members on it, so. I think this was actually shared with all of Killer SD because yeah. these, these are some of the documents that came from good old K-Connect. Woo, hey, hey, anyone remember that? All right, so. Oh, as I was saying, it functions almost exactly like, an, like a regular Google Drive. You still have the plus new icon on where you can upload stuff, but this time it'll go directly into the drive and it'll be shared immediately with everyone in there. So if you wanted to make something like for your department or something like that, that would be a great way of getting stuff off around. Anyway. One of the nice things about team drives is that um, if it's in my drive, I'm the owner. So if, if something ever happens to my account, that, that document would go away. Whereas if it's a team drive, the team drive owns it instead of a specific user. So one of the nice things is that you can add people or move people, but um, from the team drive and documents don't necessarily disappear um, just uh, like they would if they were if the documents were saved in my drive. Um, so how to create a new team drive is that on the team drive button um, where I can see all the options, I click new and give my team drive a title. And then create it. And then I can add individual people to that team drive. I can add groups to this team drive or um, oh, look, I got a little guide to add my members. And so this is kind of the same way of, of your individual documents or your um, folders is that you can add people to this. You can give them, say, I want them to be a manager to manage the content in the team drive, manage the member, members as well as the settings, or I only want them to manage the content. I don't want them to, to deal with the members where they can only add, edit, move, or delete files or they can only add and edit files, not delete or move, or maybe they just want them to comment on files there or even just view files and not be, have any edit rights. So this would be within the whole team drive, not just specific files or folders. So if I wanna make Nick and myself content managers, I can type a message in here saying, welcome to the team drive. And then Nick and I would both receive an email notification. If I didn't want to send an, an email notification, if we're all sitting there in a the room getting us all set up, I could say skip that notification. Um, but this way, Nick and I would both receive this email saying you're part of the team drive now and being able to, to access that straight from that email or logging into our Google Drive and clicking on team drive and seeing the teacher Joe te teacher Doe team drive. So then from there, you can add folders, add in the files um, into the team drive for all us three people to access or whoever has access to that team drive. Yes, indeed, and thank you for the invite, boss. <laughs> All right, so oh, this is going a little bit further back. I'm actually talking about um, how, to, how it's switching over from a Word document to a Google Doc. What I want to show you all now is how to switch backwards. So is this anything important? Mm -hmm. All right, good deal. Then we're going to use this as an example. So oh, this is our brand new to Word doc, not Word document, Google Doc. And let's say we've got this saved up here, but we want to have it on our computer as a Word document. What you would do is you would go up here to this Files button, and you would say, where are you? Download as. There we go. So that gives you a whole list of options. You've got a Microsoft Word document, and you have Rich Text Editor. You have a PDF if you want to. We're going to go with Microsoft Word. So you click on that. It gives you that little thing, and there it is as a Word document. Just click on that and check. See, ready, steady. It's going to take a little while, isn't it? <laughs> yep, there we go. All right, awesome. So there it is, yep. So that is how you, how you would download that if you needed it in that format. Let's get back to Drive, and fantastic. So, let's see. Let's see. Where else can we go from here? Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you can talk about recovering files if you want to. Go ahead, Nick. All right, good deal. So if we were to take the same file that we have open and say we don't want this anymore, we would be able to go back here. And we're just going to temporarily, del temporarily delete this guy. So as he was saying earlier, you, do, you would use the remove icon. If you click on that, that would remove it. You would enter into the trash. Here it is, that file, which would go away. Hey, if you want, if you wanted to, you could empty the trash right now, get rid of that forever. But we don't want to. We want that file back, largely because it's not my file. <laughs> and and you see this button here that says restore from trash. You would click on that. 
Now it is no longer in the trash. You would go back into your drive and it is somewhere on here. Untitled oh, document. there it is. All right, fantastic. So one of the nice things about Google is that there's multiple ways to, to click a button. So I can click and select this and then I have my options up here to throw it in the trash or I can right click it and I'd have an option there to throw it in the trash. Uh, <clears throat> so the so usually all the, the options are in multiple spots, so it makes it easy and convenient to, to whatever you're comfortable with, whether it's right-clicking, whether it's clicking and clicking up there, or even opening the document and being able to, to put in the trash from the file menu, or um, so I can rename it from here, move it to the trash, and do just about anything. So there's multiple ways to to, um, accomplish a task. All righty. And as well, something else you can do is you reminded me that you can also make copies of items in, in Google Drive. So if you were to make a copy of something, you would say, um, you would go ahead, you would right click it, and you would go down to where it says make a copy here. You could click on that. That would make you a copy. So as soon as that copy is made, it is a completely separate document. You can do whatever you want to the one document without having to do, let's see, get that out of the way. So there's our copy there. Here, we could edit this document if we wanted to, like just put down here, hello, Keller ISD. I cannot spell, okay. <laughs> Keller ISD, okay. So we can put that down there. And if we go back to the original document, whatever that might be, there it is, all right. It would not add it to that. So this is good if you have like a template or something you want to go ahead and spread out. That's something else you could do with that. And I don't know. It's really handy for covering a lot of bases if you wanted to. Let's see. What else can we show? Guys. Let's see. We got about nine, eight to nine minutes left. Sara, Jenna, any questions yeah. coming in on the chat? I'm glad you asked, Aaron. We do have a question, and it may be something we research further. But the question is, um, once the team drive is created, can the members be modified as to their ability to edit? Um, the little that I looked into it, um, it seems like you can go in and edit those members' ability right there um, as far as their level of, of view privileges, edit privileges, and so forth. Um, but when you go into specific documents, it seemed as though those options were grayed out. Y'all may want to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but then I do know you can add on privileges to members outside of the team. Is that correct? Right. So you can share uh, specific documents, but not folders from within the team drive. Is that um, so if we had let's just add a um, folder. And we'll add a Google Doc in here as well. So now I have a folder and a document in, a, in my team draft. So if I wanted to share this document with a specific person that's not part of the team, I can do that. Um, or I could get the link just like we could from my drive, but I cannot share um, and it looks like I can change even the specific people in my team drive. I can't change their rights to that document. I don't change it to the team drive altogether. I can go from view to edit. That's interesting. But I can add people to that specific document or turn on the link sharing, but I cannot do that for folders. So currently with Google, um, they do not have the ability to share a folder from the team drive, but you can share individual documents with individual people that aren't part of the whole team, the team drive as a whole. And Aaron, what you just showed us, it seems like you can almost promote their level, but not mm -hmm. demote their level. Yeah, that's kind of what, that's what it looks like. Unless you're doing it at the team drive level. Mm -hmm. at the top level. Okay. Thank you. I know team drives aren't, um, they're fairly new. So maybe some of those features are coming. Right. All right. So one of the things that we did not talk about was this little icon here. Um, you kind of see the, the details, the activity. So if I have a document, I can see the, the activity that's going on with it, when it was created, who last edited it, 
and then I can see the details who has the rights to it all from from right here. Um, I can add a description about the document and then um, see where it is located and safe. So that may help some of the stuff, um, like some of the things that I may not know exactly what they are in my my, my drive, um, kind of help me know, oh, I created that two years ago. It's been opened and modified at this time. And then I can see this is the last time that somebody modified it. All right. Additionally, as well, I thought I should jump, jump in here and say that uh, you aren't necessarily limited to just docs, sheets, and slides for or what you can save in Google Drive. Uh, if you can save as well if you need to. Obviously, we mentioned folders. You can save pictures as well if you need to. Or to all my engineering fans, the STL files, you can save those. <laughs> and those are JPEGs if you need. And you need it really, if, you, if it fits on a flash drive, it'll fit on Google Drive, basically. So I just thought I'd bring that up and mention that. Let's see. And this is where all your your forms, if you created forms for um, <clears throat> your Google Forms for different things or for surveys or quizzes, um, even if you create the new Google Sites, they're saved in, in the, the My Drive or the in a team drive. Um, so it's all kind of all kind of connected nowadays with, with Google. Thank goodness. Yes, um, let's hey, see. Hey guys, have you all showed the um there's a special feature that not a lot of people know about that has been super beneficial for my team. Um, allow Google Drive will actually allow you to, and I'm not sure if I'm explaining this right, you're, you're honestly creating a shortcut to the file. I know the file truly just lives in one place, but let's say you wanted to access the file in a different place. You can highlight that document and press Shift-C. Have y'all ever tried that? So we'll try it with this PDF that Christy has shared. So shift Z, and then I'm able to add it to my drive. So maybe you want it in a subfolder. Mm -hmm. So let's say I wanted this inside my test folder, add it there. So now it's in my shared, shared with me as well as my test folder. Very nice tip. Thank you, Sara. So for those of you that are that are out there and like the different colors of your folders, there is a way to um, you can change the color specific folders. So if I wanted this folder to be red so that it kind of stood out and I wanted this one to be yellow, I can change those color, those folder colors so that they, they easily stand out. It's just another way to kind of label it, whether it's starred, whether it's the color change. You can do that with folders. I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can with that, no. You can only do that with folders specifically, not with documents, sheets, or anything else. Nick, how, okay. how do you use Google Drive and Team Drives in your day-to-day -day school life? So as a student, I use this for basically everything because I'm really forgetful. I usually <laughs> like, um, I'll put something on a flash drive, I'll forget the flash drive at home. This I always have with me. So as long as I have internet access, I'm always able to access my files. I take notes and put them up here. Here as well, most teachers now, they're asking me, you know, if oh, if I have, have an essay or something and I need to share it with them, I just share it with them using Google Drive. So do you, use, use, do you use Google Drive on your mobile device? I do, in fact, I do, yes. Uh, so I use it mostly to check up on files because you need separate apps to get them right. to access and edit all the different things. But if I need to like, like if I've taken notes on something and I just want to pull it up right fast, you know, or like note cards, I always have those on Google Drive. Just pull them up and scroll through them on my phone. Awesome. It's pretty useful. Absolutely. Um, do you use a lot of team drives at Keller High School? Uh, admittedly, I do not. Okay. But uh, for work here, I do. I do use it a couple, quite a bit, just to be able to share it with the whole team. Yes, indeed. Yeah, like 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 Sara said, Team Drives is pretty new, so it's still kind of gaining traction. I know uh, some teachers have created like uh, some Team Drives for their PLCs, um, and that's how a lot of the documents are being shared that were on K Connect. They're put in a Team Drive and then ex access from a Google site or somewhere other than that, which we'll get into at a later YouTube live of how to do those kind of things. Um, but just some of the ways that, that we've seen team drives used are, like I said, PLCs, being able to give all KSC staff view access to some documents, 
we use it here at the Genius team or the Genius HQ for um, all the different documents for the, the Genius team to use. So each year as new ones come in, we don't have to reshare everything. We can just add them to the team drive and then they have access to everything they need. So there's some ways that, that we use it. Um, we'd love to hear how you guys are using it and kind of go from there. It uh, looks like we have about 30 to 45 seconds left. Any closing remarks there, Nick? Honestly, no, just keep using them in Google Drive. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us. Awesome. Um, yeah, absolutely. So ho hopefully y'all y'all got something out of out of today's YouTube live and looking forward to, to the next one. Um, we will keep you posted on when that is. It'll probably be next semester sometime and then kind of go from there. Uh, Sara and Jenna will be putting the link to the form in the chat. So if you'll look for that and get your EQ credit. Sara, Jenna, anything to, to sign off with? No, you guys did a great job and I, we love the hats. Thank you so much for um, dressing for the holiday, but we are posting that link right now and it is a Google form. So please teachers fill that out for complete EQ credit and we will get on that um, hopefully tomorrow or the next day and um, give you guys credit. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Jenna and Sara, for moderating for us. And thank you, Nick, for, for co co uh, anchoring here. Thank um, you. Y'all have a have a great have a great Wednesday night, great Easter week, and um, see y'all soon. Honest.